What's up YouTube, MS1914 here, bringing you another gun video. This one's a little different than my normal uploads. I was testing the Taurus G2 24-7, the 9mm, and had numerous malfunctions when trying to make the video of the shooting part. As you can see here, I'm having trouble with it already. I didn't, I wasn't able to get a full mag through it without any issues. And I just wanted to show you guys that because I know a lot of people do a lot of editing when they're making their videos. And, and I, I only do editing to edit out my mistakes. <laughs> if a gun's going to malfunction, I want to show you guys that it's, it's malfunctioning and basically what happened so that I can give an honest review. And this one was not working good at all. This gun is a loner gun. It was sent to us by boss man Tommy T. It has roughly a thousand rounds through it and no prior issues uh, that, that I know about. And like I said, I wasn't able to get a full mag through it. I tried three different kinds of ammo, all uh, round nose, no hollow points, nothing like that. And what ended up happening was the guide rod, you can see, catch me flinching there too. <laughs> the guide rod and the spring ended up passing through the hole in the slide completely and rendered the gun unable to fire, unable to do anything. And it was pretty hard to get it back out of the hole. And I ended up uh, not shooting the gun anymore. And I'll show you, you can see in the video here what all happened. But I did get it back together and had it to where the slide and everything was operating by hand. And but I wasn't going to fire it anymore because it is a loner gun, like I said. But the owner of the gun, uh, him and I talked it over, and he's contacting Taurus. And also, depending on what they say, he's looking into getting a stainless steel guide rod and replacing because this one has a plastic one. And we don't know if that's the issue. As you can see, I'm having all kinds of problems here, not going into battery. Um, but. I'll just let you guys watch here at the end and you can see kind of what happened. These are just different angles. I had a few cameras set up. Uh, didn't even get maybe, I, I mean, I, I barely got to shoot 30 rounds through it. Like I said, I'm showing you different angles here. As you can see, it's not even, of course, I didn't know. I was trying to pull the trigger. But, yeah, it just malfunctioned and... Basically, what we're going to do is, once this issue gets straightened out, I'm going to get this gun back and do a part two of this on this firearm and see if we can have a little better luck with it this time. There you can see the slide's not all the way forward. And I think this is where the guide rod ends up coming all the way through. No, that, maybe it's this video. I don't know for sure. But yeah, it was just not wanting to work guys and okay. like I said uh, the owner has told me he hadn't had any problems with it before the gun hasn't I mean a thousand rounds should be enough to break a gun in I don't think that would be you know too many rounds to that gun and you can see here I'm having issues again um, but I'll show you here coming up it's the guide rod has passed completely through there you can see I'm kind of confused as to what's going on and now I notice that something just isn't right about it first I thought maybe it was a magazine I had several oh, magazines and switched it up tried different ones and it still was no better and then when that happened I'm guessing that that was what was causing all the problems to begin with that spring was not being retained like it was supposed to be and it was causing it not to go into battery I don't know what's going on here now you can see here here's what's happened the spring has actually came all the way through the slide there you can see Never seen that before. 
I've got it back together now. Got the spring back where it's supposed to be. Uh, this part here in the slide is too big, I'm guessing, and the spring was passing through there instead of the catching and staying like it was supposed to. But I'm not going to fire this anymore. This is a loner gun, so it's going to have to be looked at. Get that taken care of. All right, guys, like I said, that's all for this video. And stay tuned for the part two where I will try and make this gun redeem itself. But that's yet to be seen. We're going to try and get this issue lined out and see what Taurus has to say. And I'll keep you guys posted on that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. As always, God bless you. God bless America. I love you guys. Stay safe and stay armed.